Welcome to the Photography Show TV studio, where joining me here is Brent Sturton, who's been speaking on the Super Stage a moment ago. Uh, for Brent, if you're not familiar with him, he's the 2017 Wildlife Photographer of the Year. And you've been sharing some of your work on the stage just now. Uh, just, just talk me through your, your journey, if you will. You're very much a, a photo journalist, and uh, conservation is uh, very top of your agenda just talk, talk me through your journey some of the uh, some of the organizations that you've worked with on your way to where you are now sure um, you know I uh, I got involved in the in conservation photojournalism in yeah. 2007 um, you know we were working on the war in the Congo um, yeah. in the DRC and um, you know while I was there a, a large number of mountain gorillas were killed by a rebel group at the time and um, as a result of that, I started working more in the, in the wildlife conservation space, but yeah. um, you know, to a large extent, just just you know, coming to terms with the fact that these things don't exist in isolation. Yeah. That if you're going to talk about conflict, if you're going to talk about uh, in you know wild spaces, um, there's often certain elements there that we cover as photojournalists in terms of conflict, but we neglect the environment. And if you do that, frankly, you're not telling the full story. Now, some of your stories when I've looked at your images are instantly very, very striking. Take, for example, the image of the black rhino um, with its horn cut off. Um, mm -hmm. that, that won the award, the, the Wildlife Photographer of the Year Award. Um, it's very different to the previous winners of that award. T t tell me a bit more about that and perhaps what that says about where we are at the moment in terms of wildlife photography and uh, humans' attitudes towards our relationship with wildlife. Well, you know, I have to be honest, like, I was very surprised to win that particular title for that image because, as you say, it's not what you usually get from Wildlife Photographer of the Year, um, but it really is an acknowledgement of the fact that we are in a time of crisis. Yeah. So, I, you know, I was very grateful to the judges for acknowledging that because the thing with certain competitions is that your work, you know, has that much more resonance as a result. Um, so, for me, um, you know, I work, um, I, I'm working across the spectrum of the illegal wildlife trade at the moment. Um, yeah. You know, as well as working on more conventional photojournalism themes, but I just no longer see those things as separate. Um, yeah. They are one and part of the same theme. Some of your work, as I said, is so immediately emotive, so so moving. How how are you when you're chasing down a story, when you're uh, face to face with a scene that is is fresh and and horrific? That that's part of your job to capture that. Uh, do you have to keep your professional journalistic distance and almost forbid yourself to be moved yourself in that scene? Or, or do, do you allow the emotions to help you tell your story through images? Well, I think, you know, this is a profession that can breed cynicism, that can create a jaded persona, and I, I don't want to be that. So, yes, I want to feel something when I'm looking at a scene that I think, you know, you should feel something for, but I also want to maintain my professionalism so that I can yeah. do my job. You know, a lot of the time, uh, what you're seeing, what you're witnessing, it's not happening to you, it's happening to other people or it's happening to other creatures. Yeah. And uh, so really, you know, firstly, do your job, be a professional. And then after that, then allow yourself to feel for that. You know, it's um, that's how that's the order in which I'm going to process those kind of scenarios. And I, I guess that uh, allowing yourself to feel that emotion at the right time. At the end of the day, the work that you're creating that's going to have an impact. It's going to create an impetus for change among those people, those organisations, hopefully, who are viewing these images. Well, look, you know, our job as photojournalists is, is to provide verifiable information to lead to a responsible dialogue. That's as good as it gets, okay? Yeah. So, you know, I'm, if something changes as a result of my pictures, thank you very much, I'm grateful. Yeah. But my job is to provide you know, that information in an undeniable fashion, in a time of fake news, really. So yeah. that's more my preoccupation. Well, listen, Brent, it's been great to have you here at The Photography Show. Thank you for speaking on the Super Stage and thank you for joining us here in the studio. Thank you for your time.